हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मोनालिशा पाड़ी एंड आई एम अ लीगल इंटर्न एट लेक्सिस एंड कंपनी आई एम परसुइंग माई बी बी एल एल बी फ्रॉम भारतीय विद्यापीठ न्यू लॉ कॉलेज पुणे एंड आई एम करेंटली इन थर्ड ईयर द इशू एंड द पर्पज ऑफ टूडे टॉपिक इज यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड एंड द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू क्रिएट एन अवेयरनेस अबाउट द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड वाई इट इज़ नीडेड इन आर कंट्री सो द इशू ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड हैज इमर्ज इन टू इंडियाज पॉलिटिकल डिसकरेज रिसेंटली मेनली बिकॉज मैनी वुमेन स्पेशली मुस्लिम वुमेन हैव अफेक्टेड एडवर्सली बाई द पर्सनल लॉज एंड दे हैव बिगिन नॉकिंग द डोज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू अपहोल्ड देयर फंडामेंटल राइट्स to equality and liberty in keeping up with the constitutional provisions the union law minister has recently asked uh, the law commission to examine the matter in relation to the implementation of the uniform civil code so what what this uh, uniform civil code is exactly the ucc uh, also known as the uniform civil code in india Uh, proposes to replace the personal laws based on the scriptures and customs of each major religious com- uh, community in the country with the common set governing every citizen the uniform civil code has a provision for uh, the con- sorry the constitution has a provision for the uniform civil code in article 44 as a dpsp that is the directive principle of state policy which states that the sta- uh, state shall endeavor to secure for the citizen a uniform civil code throughout the territory of india but uh, we all know that dpsp is not enforceable by law so that is why uniform civil code is uh, not in the practical state in our country so what are the pros of uniform civil code the uniform uh, civil code uh, basically is there to provide equal status to all the citizen in the modern area a uh, democ- india is a democratic country so a uh, secular democrat as a secular democrat democ- democratic country one should have a common civil and personal law for its citizen irrespective of religion caste gender etc the second why it is uh, needed is to promote gender parity it is commonly observed that the personal law of almost all religions are discriminatory towards women men are usually granted upper uh, preferen- preferential matters preferential uh, status in the matter of succession and inheritance uniform civil code will bring both men and women at par to uh, the the next uh, advantage of uniform civil code is to accommodate the aspiration of the young population a, a contemporary india is a totally new society with to, uh, with 55% of its population uh, below 25 years of age so the the social attitudes and aspirations are shaped by the universal and global principles of equality humanity and modernity their view of shedding identity on the basis of any religion has to be given a serious consideration so as to utilize their full potential towards nation building to support the national integration all indian citizens are already equal before the court of law as the criminal laws and the other civil laws except personal laws these are same for all with the implementation of uniform civil court all citizen will share the same set of personal laws there will be no scope of politicization of issues of the discrimination or concessions of a special privilege enjoyed by a particular community on the basis of their particular personal laws to bypass the contention issue of reform of existing personal laws existing personal laws are mainly based on the upper class patriarchal notions of the society in all religions the demand of ucc is normally made by aggrieved women as a substitute for by aggrieved uh, sorry as a substitute for existing personal laws as a patriarchal orthodox people still deem the reforms in personal law with 
uh, destroyed their scarcity and opposed it profusely so at the end at the end of the day a ucc can only emerge through an evolutionary process which preserves india's rich local heritage of which all the personal laws are equal constituents the codification and implementation of ucc may not necessarily assure in expected equality among genders and religion major sensitization efforts have uh, uh, sensitization efforts are needed to reform current personal law reforms which should first be initiated by the communities themselves current institution need to be modernized democratized and strengthened for this change sincere efforts towards women empowerment have to be taken for women of all religion the plural democracy is an identity of the modern india therefore effort should be focused on harmony in plurality rather than blanket uniformity for flourishing indian democracy that's all for the topic thank you so much please like and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you